So here we have a 106 year old building. The customer wants the roof, the ceiling insulated and the walls. So we'll go in and take a look at uh, what we've done so far. Ceiling is a, uh, is a flat, is flat, the walls. Um, here we have the ceiling which will get four inches of foam to R28. And then here we have the, the wall. This is a warm wall. The customer wants uh, just to protect the stone since the building is 106 years old. It will prevent the stones from crumbling. So what I'm doing is I'm just putting about an inch and a half of foam on here to protect the, warm, uh, the, the wall, give it some structural strength. In the front we'll add three inches of foam uh, for insulating value. So this is really old renovation, really old job and uh, just to give you an idea of what the stone looks like this would uh, apply to basically old homes in the River Heights area in their basements we do quite a few jobs like this but in that case we would put in three inches to give them an R21 where it completely seals off the rock and uh, makes everything nice and sturdy so here this is a warm wall we won't be doing anything on this side I actually want to expose the rock inside he's making a living space up here apartment with the big open concept kitchen living room area and bedrooms in the back there so we're here back to where we're sealing off and uh, I'll now start spraying just to show you how the process works so I'm going to start now and uh, you'll see how it goes. I do the corners first, fill them up. So I can, you can see it creates this monolithic layer. This now already can be touched with your hand. Still a little soft, but within 15 minutes, it'll be as hard as can be. You can see it expands at least 30 times while I spray. So now I go over this area again right here and just fill in all the little cracks. And that because of the uneven rock gives you an idea how I fix the rock and the, the cracks. A lot of air leakage through this wall. There would be rather if it was an outside wall. That's why a lot of these basements and the River Heights for instance are so so cold because a lot of air leakage, a lot of water leakage. This is also a moisture control controls the moisture had a lot of uh, response from customers saying that it completely took care of their moisture issues but if you have moisture issues you might want to really look at getting a sump pump and weeping tiles and what have you all right I'll stand up and do another layer on top get a better feel for it I'm not going to go any thicker up here because the customer just wants a very thin layer. Here's where the rock is really bad. Over it again. And that's done. So that's how, that's how it's done.